In this lecture, let's try to understand what is pass by value and pass by reference while passing arguments to a function parameter. Now, in order to understand pass by value and pass by reference, you should have a good understanding of value type and reference type. And I have already covered this topic in one of the lectures of this course. So you can go ahead and watch that lecture first and then you can come back to this lecture. However, in this lecture, I will give you a brief overview of what is value type and what is reference type before talking about pass by value and pass by reference. So let's get started. So we know that in JavaScript, a value or a data can be classified into two types, primitive type and objects. In JavaScript, we have seven primitive data types, number, string, boolean, null, undefined, big and symbol. And apart from these seven primitive data types, everything else is an object in JavaScript. So an array is an object, a function is an object, a date is an object. Okay. And remember that primitive types are value types. On the other hand, objects are reference types. So let's now go ahead and let's understand what is value type and what is reference type. So a data or a value is called as a value type when it stores the value within itself. And all primitive data type values are value types. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have a very simple program. And in this program, we are creating this variable A and we are assigning it with the value 30. So in the memory, first of all, an identifier called A will be created. And this value 30, since it is of value type, because it is a primitive value. So since this 30 is of value type, this 30 will be stored in the stack memory. Okay, so you can see this 30 is stored at this memory address. And this identifier A will point to that memory address. So basically here, this variable A, this identifier A is storing this value 30. And this is what a value type is. A value type stores a value within itself. Then we are assigning this variable A to this variable B. So here, the value stored in this variable A will be copied to this variable B. Now what is the value stored in this variable A? It is 30. So that 30 will be copied for this variable B. So again, an identifier for this variable B will be created. And since it is also storing the same value 30, it will also point to the same memory address. So both A and B are now storing this value 30. Then we are setting the value of A to 70. So in the memory, this value will not change. Remember this point. In the memory, the value will not change. In memory, it is immutable. So now what will happen is, this 70 will be stored somewhere else in the stack memory. And now this variable A will point to that memory address. So now this variable A is storing this value 70 and this variable B is storing this value 30. So changing the value of variable A did not affect the value stored in the variable B. And this is what a value type is. A value type stores a value within itself. And a value type is always stored in stack memory. Now let's talk about reference type. So a data or a value is called as reference type when it stores a reference or a memory address within it. Everything except primitive types are reference types in JavaScript. So an array is a reference type, an object is a reference type, a function is of reference type. Okay. Let's understand reference type with this simple example. So here we are creating an object. Now an object is of reference type and an object gets stored in the heap memory. So here when we are creating this object, this object will get stored in the heap memory. And we are assigning this object to this variable obj1. Okay, so for this obj1 in the, you know, here an identifier will be created. And this obj1 will point to a memory address here. Okay, so this obj1 here, it is not storing this object itself. This object is stored in the heap memory, as you can see here. This obj1 is storing the memory address of that object. Okay, so this object 
is stored in this heap memory at this memory address. And what is this OBJ on storing? It is storing that memory address. So it, it is storing a reference to this object. Here, this obj1 is not storing the value. It is storing a reference. And that's why we say that objects are of reference type. Because when we assign an object to a variable, that variable does not store the object itself. It stores its memory address. It stores its reference. Okay. Then we are assigning this obj1 to obj2. Now, what is this obj1 containing? What is it storing? It is storing a reference. And when we are assigning it to obj2, that same reference will be copied from obj1 to obj2. So, an identifier for this obj2 will be created. And since this obj2 is also storing this reference, this obj2 will also point to this memory address. Okay, so here both obj1 and obj2 are storing the same reference. They are pointing to the same object in the heap memory. And this is what a reference type is. A reference type does not stores the value assigned to it. It stores a reference to that value. It stores a reference to that data. So this is a very brief overview of what is value type and what is reference type. If you want to learn more about value type and reference type, then please go through my value type and reference type lecture of this JavaScript course. Let's now talk about pass by value and pass by reference. So here, in order to save some time, I have already written a small program. Let me increase a font size a bit here. Okay. So in this program, first of all, I'm creating this variable called flight and to this I'm assigning a string value now a string is of primitive type and primitive values are value types so here this value will be copied inside this flight variable okay then we are creating this person variable and to this we are assigning this object this object has this name property and this passport property so in this case since an object is of reference type this person variable is not going to you know store this object itself this object will be stored in heap memory and this person variable will store that the address of that heap memory. Okay, it will store a reference to that heap memory. Then here we are creating this check-in function and this check-in function is taking this flight num parameter and this passenger parameter. Inside this, uh, you know, inside this function, we are simply changing the name property of this passenger and we are appending mr before its name then we are also changing the value of flight num prop i mean flight num parameter then we are checking if the passport matches this this passport if the pa passport of the passenger the passport number of the passenger matches this passport then we want to log a message saying that passenger name you are checked in for flight and then the flight number otherwise if this uh, passport number does not match then we want to log invalid passport so this is a very straightforward function nothing fancy here then we are calling this check-in function and for this flight num parameter we are passing this flight variable and for this passenger parameter we are passing this passenger variable now when we are passing this flight variable this flight is storing a string value so this flight is of value type so here the value stored in this flight variable will be copied inside this flight num parameter, right? And for the passenger, we are passing this person. Now, this person is storing a reference value. It is storing a reference to this object. So here, when we are passing this person as an argument for this passenger parameter, the reference stored in this person variable will be copied inside this passenger parameter now here let's go ahead and let's save the changes so it has logged mr john you are checked in for flight bnb triple nine so inside this function we have changed the flight number and that flight number has been logged here okay and what is the name of the passenger it is logging mr john let's also go ahead and log this passenger you know parameter itself and let's see what it stores 
so let's copy this passenger and let's pass it here save the changes and here you can see this passenger parameter has this name property which is set to mr john and it has this passport property which is set to this value so we are setting this name property of this passenger here by appending this mr okay so this program is working as expected now let's go ahead and let's log the john object and as well as flight i mean the person object as well as the flight variable if i save the changes here if you notice when we are logging this passenger it has logged this object and when we are logging this person object it has logged this object and if you see the name property both of them has the same value if i scroll up here for the person object we have specified the name as john but when we are logging it you can see it is set to mr john that's because we assign this person object to this passenger and then on that passenger we change the name and since both passenger and person are pointing to the same object change made by one object you know one reference variable is also reflecting in another reference variable okay on the other hand we assign this flight prop uh, this flight variable to this flight num parameter so this value got copied to this one then we are changing its value to bnb triple nine so when we are logging this flight number the flight number has logged bnb triple nine right but when we are logging this flight it has logged bnb 289 so changing the value of flight number did not change the value stored in this flight why because this flight is of value type so here the value got copied to this flight num and both of these will be independent of each other let's understand this diagrammatically so here we have the same program now when we are creating this flight variable and when we are assigning this string value to it first of all an identifier for this flight will be created and this string value will be stored in the stack memory right and this flight identifier will point to that memory okay so this flight is storing this value bnb 289 then we are creating this object so this object will be created in the heap memory and this person so an identifier for this person variable will be created and it will store a reference to that memory address so it will store the reference to the memory address where this object is stored in the heap memory as you can see it is storing this memory address okay then we are creating this check-in function and we are calling it so when we are calling this check-in function first of all an identifier for this flight num will be created okay and this flight num will be assigned with the value with i mean with the value of this flight variable so it will be assigned with this string value and where is this string value stored it is stored at this memory address so now this flight num will point to that memory address and we are also assigning this person to this passenger parameter and since when we are assigning this person to this passenger parameter this reference which is stored in this person variable will be copied to this passenger parameter so an identifier for this passenger will be created and since this passenger is storing the same reference this reference it will also point to this memory address so here both person and passenger are pointing to same object okay so this object as you can see because they're storing the same reference so inside this function we are changing the name property on this passenger object and we are appending mr before name so this will change the name you know the value of the name property in the object so now in the object this john will become mr john and since both person and passenger are pointing to the same object this mr john will also reflect in this person object okay then we are assigning this flight num with another string value okay now here this value will not get changed to this value because we learned that the value does not change in the memory so this value will be stored in another memory address in the 
memory so let's say it gets stored at this memory address and now this flight num will point to this memory address okay so as you can see now this flight num is storing this string value bnb triple nine and flight is storing this value bnb 289 and that's why when we logged flight number and flight they had different values but when we logged person and passenger both of them had the same value this object okay so this is what pass by value and pass by reference is when we pass a value type to a parameter the value is what gets copied to that parameter and that is called as pass by value when we pass a reference type to a parameter the reference stored in that variable will be copied to that parameter so here reference stored in this person variable got copied inside this passenger parameter and this is called as pass by reference so here for the first argument we are passing a value you know we are passing a value and for the second reference we are passing a i mean for the second ar argument we are passing a reference and this is what pass by value and pass by reference is okay so again when a value is passed to a parameter that is called as pass by value but when a reference is passed to a parameter that is called as pass by reference so here when we are passing this person object this person object is storing a reference and that reference will be copied to this passenger parameter so that is pass by reference on the other hand in case of flight the value stored in this flight variable will be copied to this flight num parameter and this is pass by value so this is all from this lecture if you have any question then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day